In this tutorial, we're going to create a parts list for the sample uh, tutorial vehicle. So what we want to do is end up with a parts list that looks something like this, which will show the part number that we want to cut, how many we need to cut, its length of the cut, the total amount of material we need to buy, the material type, and its size. Now we don't have to calculate mass, but we may do that later. Uh, this is a, um, a part of balloon numbers. So as you can see, each part uh, has a number, and sometimes the numbers they may not be on every single piece, but they'll indicate um, if it's of the same length, they'll be the same part number. So this, this drawing here is the working drawing, and it contains all the sizes and dimensions. We're going to create this inside Microsoft Excel. So you'll need to download a copy of the parts list template, which is on Teams. For your benefit, I've already put in a couple here to give you a sample. So for example, let's find part number three. Part number three is this component here at the front. So you can see you got one, two, and you'll probably see that it's the same as this one, three, and I'll bet you it's probably the same as this one too, because they're kind of the same components. Let's have a look from this view. So that is the component that's along the front here. One, two, three, and one, two, actually that's a bit different. So one, two, three, four. So there's four part number threes. So let's make sure we got four part number threes and our item length is 460 millimeters. So it's important to put it in millimeters. Let's check on our drawing how we find that. So 460 is the internal width between the two side rails. Okay, 460. And the order quantity is how much material you'd have to go to Bunnings to buy to make this. Now there's a quick and fast way to do this. All you need to do is click the equal sign on your keyboard, click on the first item, item quantity, and then do the shift and uh, multiply symbol. And then click on the second box, item length, so it's going to multiply the two together, and if you hit enter, it will calculate how much you need to go buy. So this project's made from mild steel and 20 by 20 by 2 RHS, square tubing. Let's do another sample one. Let's do part number one. Okay, so if we look at our view here, let's just go, up. sorry, part number one is actually the whole chassis, so ignore part number one, but let's look at part number two. That's this rail here, so one, two, okay, and there's no other part number twos or components of the same length. This goes from front to back. So from here to here. So the overall length of this should be 2150. So there's two of those, and the length is 2150, and this is how much I have to buy, so it's equal to the quantity times the length. Enter. Okay, this material is mild steel, and the size is 20 by 20 by 2 RHS. Let's do one more. Let's figure out next, uh, let's pick a random one. How about part number five? So five is this little support bar in here, and there's two of them. And we'll just check that there's not any other support bars in the process. Okay, what's this one here, this one? Maybe it's 12, so it's not 12. Okay, so there's two part number fives, and the length should be the interior width between the back and the middle bar. So let's go check, so that's the length in here. So it should be 370 for part number five. Part number five. All right, so five. There's two of them, and 370 was its length. So the quantity you have to go buy is equal to Two, shift in the time symbol, 370, enter. You can use a calculator also. Mild steel and 20 by 20 by 2 RHS. So keep working your way around, figuring out how many and what length each component is and place it into the template. Let's look now at the uh, trying to figure out the roll bars because they're a little bit different. So when you have a circle, Let's go back up to this view. The length of the roll bar is simply equal to 
So imagine you have a full circle. The circumference of a circle is equal to pi times the diameter. Okay, so if we know the radius, it's also equal to pi times 2 times the radius, right? Diameter is twice the radius. So in order to figure out how long each piece is, you figure out pi times 2 times 250, and then you must divide it by 2 because remember you're only finding half of a circle. Okay? So let's use our calculator to give us an example. So pi is 3.14, and if we multiply that by 2 times the radius, which is 250, the circumference of the whole circle is 1570. But we only need half of it, so we'll divide it by 2, and that gives us 785 is the length of half of a circle. So let's figure out what part number that is. So part number 14, there's two of them, and the length is 785. So 14 is 2 and 785. And to buy that, we need to buy two of those. So it's 2 times 785. It's 1570, and it's mild steel. And the material is going to be 20, oh, sorry, 19 by 1.2 uh, CHS. That means circular hollow section tubing. So complete this with all the components. When you're done, make sure you go File, Save As, and you save it into your OneDrive. Ensure you give it a proper name, Parts List Tutorial Vehicle, with your name on it. Click Save when you're complete. OK. And then you need to submit this under Teams when you're done.